right, so it's General Mark Milley. That's what we're going to talk about today. If you like the video, I hope you do like it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So it seems like uh, General Mark Milley has been put through the ringer for saving uh, the country, maybe the world. But uh, let's see what the cards have to say about that. And I'll sh tell you what I found out about it. Practically nothing. So today's going to be about um, a United States Army General and only the 20th Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of, Chiefs of Staff. Uh, he served as the Army's 39th Chief of Staff. So the Army's ch th Chief of Staff. Now he's the Joint Chiefs of Staff. He's everybody. And uh, this is, of course, who else? Uh, General Mark Milley. And uh, his father had been a Navy corpsman, but then uh, worked as a restaurateur and a food broker. And his mom served in the Navy at a Seattle-based uh, hospital, so close to me. And then uh, in 1958, uh, Mark Alexander Milley was born on June 18th, and so he's a Gemini. And he was born in Massachusetts. And then in uh, 1980, he graduated from Princeton University with a bachelor's in politics. And uh, his senior thesis, as a matter of fact, was titled A Critical Analysis of Revolutionary Guerrilla Organization in Theory and Practice. So he was writing about an insurrection, right? Um, he, also, um, he also holds a master's in international relations and another master's in uh, national security and strategic studies from the um, Naval War College. So that's where he got his master's. Uh, oh, he's also an attendee of the, the MIT Center for International Studies uh, National Securities Program. So he became an uh, Army officer through Princeton's Army Reserve Officers Training Program. Uh, in 2014, okay, he then served as the Commanding General of the United States Army Armed Forces Command. Imagine. And then uh, he's, he's almost my age. I think he's younger than me, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then uh, he was appointed, uh, in 2015, he was appointed Chief of Staff uh, for the Army. And then uh, in 2019, you know, I had the years here down. I think in 2019, he was probably 64, and Trump makes him uh, the 20th Chairman, as I said, of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the nation's highest ranking military officer, and the principal military advisor to the President, the principal military advisor to the Secretary of Defense, and also the National Security Council. So. They're all asking for his expertise in what should happen next. And one of those three is crazy. So, uh, so uh, there. he's been married for 34 years. I think I said that. So here we go. What do the cards say? I'll say so. This is a grand or tarot grand lux. Tarot grand lux. Another Cairo Marchetti uh, deck. This guy is just a machine putting out these cards. But they come in a great box. And uh, they've got a really useful uh, guidebook as far as the divination is concerned. It's easy to read, and it's, you know, handheld. And, you know, it's just another of Kyra Marchetti's version of uh, tarot cards, which all seem to be pretty cool. Um, they're easy to use, and they've got a nice kind of a matte finish that doesn't slide out of your hands too easily. And uh, so I do this so you get a chance to look at the cards and see how they are. Maybe you don't uh, buy a lot of cards or look at a lot of different cards, but if you watch my channel, you do. <laughs> so there we go. Good way to get uh, your energy all over the, all over them, and um, and so I don't know, I think that kind of makes for a better uh, read uh, when everything's all said and done. So here we go. These uh, tarot grand lux. It's some funny thing that I always want to say grand lux tarot, and um, I bet everybody does that. But anyway, we'll use these and get this going. So General Mark. Millie. You know, I think he saved the world, to tell you the truth. Or he was ready to. So, General Mark Millie. I guess what I want to know about him... Uh, okay, so let's just set a baseline. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to ask uh, if he... Um, if he saved the world. <laughs> okay, if he was acting to save the world. And, uh, if, uh, so, or I guess we could say, was he acting uh, 
for the benefit, good, good or bad. Um, I have to believe that uh, the cars go what I'm trying to ask. I want to say, you know, is was did he have bad intentions? Did he have good intentions? No. I really want to know if uh, what he did saved them, no, but if it didn't save the world because it wasn't going to happen, that's not a good question. So if his intention then, was his intention to save us? Was his intention to save us? And then uh, we'll go from there and try to narrow it down on exactly what happened. So maybe just a six card draw to begin with. Mark Milley, was your intention good to save us? Was your intention to prevent, you know, a, a disaster? Six cards. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yep, that's a good question. To start anyway. Okay, Mark Milley, was your intention to save us? Was it bad? You know, it'll tell us it was bad too. Okay, so the signifier card for this then, Mark Milley, is the magician. Okay, it's interesting. This doesn't tell us really good or bad yet. But the magician has everything at his hands. He has almost everything in his hands. He cannot order the nuclear strike. The president can, I guess. But um, but it has to go through his hands. Okay, so he is the magic um, ingredient to this. The challenge to that, Mark Milley, good or bad, okay, is the two of wands. Okay, you know, I always like to say short-term planning, but let's say this is planning that's not completely thought through, okay? So um, I think that's how I want to look at this. Yeah, the challenge to this is he's trying to deal with something that wasn't completely thought through, and he wants to make sure that it does get thought through before it takes effect. So let's stop it short. Let's stop the plans here. The base of that reading then is the three of coins. coins. Okay, it's perfect. You know, this is uh, uh, working together uh, to put something out for uh, public uh, benefit. And uh, certainly he is coordinating all the efforts of all of our militaries and the president's intentions. Uh, yeah, yeah, he is the key ingredient to all of that. So that's pretty perfect. Three of coins is the base. The uh, pass to this reading is the uh, king of cups. Okay, this has to be uh, Trump's emotional. I mean, it's, this is this king is completely emotional and flooded in a sea. Of, I mean, th he's like underwater. You can see from here. The waves are just breaking over his head. So yeah, this is, is in the past we had a king who was just nothing but emotion. Okay, that was Trump. The sky of this reading, good or bad, um, and this is the Ten of Wands. And this fella is just, he's got all these plans that he's trying to handle, and he's really burdened. So the best uh, that he could have hoped for in this thing was to, was to manage all of these actions uh, the best that he could, and it was a heavy, heavy, heavy load. So that's the sky of that reading. Very appropriate. And then the uh, likely outcome of the first part of that uh, was it good or, or bad? And, you know, this tells the whole story of what he was doing. Is uh, look at that, the chariot. And you know, we think of the chariot as coming in uh, and saving the day. And so yeah, he had to make sure that what he did uh, was able to take effect quickly. And uh, and yeah, so he was uh, coming in on a white horse, really. So that's that. So the question was, uh, were you good or bad? This looks like uh, this is good. You know, this is all great. So I want to ask now. Okay, if he'll survive all this, um, if his reputation in the short term will survive all of the scrutiny that's happening right now, will uh, Mark Milley's reputation in the short term, uh, so let's say six months to a year, will his uh, reputation in the short term survive all of this scrutiny that's going on? What is good reputation? Will his good, honorable reputation uh, survive all the scrutiny that's happening right now. Just six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Will Mark Milley's good reputation survive uh, the next six months to a year? The signifier card for that is the Three of Cups. Well, you know, the Three of Cups are celebrations. Uh, these are, uh, you know, Getting together for to for to clink our glasses and and uh, have a celebration. So I would say if this is the only card I drew, this would be yeah. Is is it's going to be fine. There'll be celebrations. But the challenge to it is what the challenge to it ah uh, partnerships. Interesting that the celebrations challenge is also uh, partnerships. Hmm, 
partnerships. That's very interesting. That's very deep because we can't imagine who the partnerships are with. Huh. Uh, uh, right off the cuff, of course, it's the partnerships between you and the other branches of the service. But um, let's see. Uh, the base of this reading is the emperor. Wow. So the emperor is, um, man, this is the fellow with all the rule, with all the law, with his rules, his law, and uh, his uh, justice. If you see this little... Um, what little hatchet that he's carrying right here. So the base of this is the emperor. Are you going to, is your reputation going to survive, your good reputation going to survive? And the base of that is uh, all of these. This is the way, this is my way. This is how this is going to happen. So who is the emperor? Could it be the government? Um, and then the um, past of this is the Eight of Cups really, in the past now, having to walk away from something, leave something very emotional, very um, nurturing almost to you, uh, leave it behind. But it's interesting that you, this fellow is walking into the light. So that was the past. That's all the turmoil that we're having right now. The sky of this is, uh, okay, so the, the, for right now, I guess because I'm putting this six months to a year, he's the hanged man, so everything's in suspension. Uh, he's not being killed. Um, he's being uh, made to look at things in, uh, you know, in a different way and, and try to, and this uh, hangman, as a matter of fact, even has a jester's pants on, you know, a jester is like an actor performer. So yeah, he could be uh, understanding that he's going to have to perform uh, over these, this next period of time and uh, things will kind of be in suspension. Interesting. Uh, so that's above these celebrations. Very interesting. And uh, which is the self of this. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing is this seven of wands, which is still someone who's in battle. Now, you know, this fellow has not by any means fallen, but he's got lots of uh, actions that are poking up at him, but he is certainly the victor so far and looking very uh, courageous and hopeful. So will his reputation survive the next six months to a year? I could say he may be still fighting it uh, that long. And then uh, will uh, he be convicted of anything? We'll just say, will he be uh, convicted, uh, made guilty? Uh, I don't care about the punishment. I want to know if they'll decide if he's guilty of anything uh, bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Interesting. So will he be convicted of anything bad? Will he be convicted of anything bad? Let's just see. And... Um, I think we'll just do three cards on this. One, two, three. And this it looks really interesting that we, you know, are compelled to, to ask more about it. So three cards will be convicted. First card right out the bat is the Six of Wands, which is victory. You know, the Six of Wands is absolutely victory. If I pulled no other card, it would mean, you know, he will, he will be the victor in this. That's the first card. The second card for that is the uh, Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is truth and justice, and it looks like she's showing up to say, yeah, we were here, don't worry. And then the last card in that is the Two of Swords, which is uh, truth and justice, just like I said, and making a choice. And this this uh, person isn't really making a choice. They're holding up both. They're saying truth and justice. So that's what I feel about this. Yeah, you'll be fine. So I didn't save all the cards from all the readings, just the last. And I said, and it was a, will he, will he be guilty? And uh, we had the victory card, the six of wands. And then just to back it up, we got the uh, two of swords, uh, making a chance, making a choice between truth, truth and justice. But I say in this case, this uh, person is holding up truth and justice equally. And uh, and then the other card we got with that, of course, was the queen of swords, which is again truth and justice. So yeah, I think he's perfectly fine. Didn't do anything wrong. He, like I said, I think he saved the world. Well, what do you think? I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.